Oh my gosh. Look at this. Yeah. Come on, bud. Let's see what happens. He smell me? He smells it. He smells it. He smells it. What's gonna happen? Who's gonna come up first? What's gonna eat? Dun dun. What is over there? Oh my word. Wow, uh, this is amazing. You make me want to get a Koi Pond now. This is so cool. Now, there's something really awesome right behind you guys. Can we look at that? I want to see what's back there. No, no, no. Right there. <laughs> yeah, right there. Wow, there's some light on here, guys. You can appreciate these fish right here. Big Koi. Big Koi as well. Some goldfish. Now, are you adopting fish also? Sure. Anybody that has any fish they can't take care of, gotten too big. I've got a lot of space, uh, you know, I can definitely... I mean, clearly, there's so much space. Now, predators only in this one, and I'm assuming based on that tail, which you guys can't see, there's there's something there that obviously predators can go there. But if you have goldfish and koi, I'm sure that he'll lovely take those yeah, as well. I'm sure, any kind of tropical fish, I'll, I'll definitely take care of them. That's sure. what I'm talking about. Now, without further ado, the real reason I'm here, now they can see, guys, this is his monster predator pond. We're gonna go ahead and check stuff inside, but he has raised these since they're a baby. Now the light is giving us a little glare. We can't really see much, but we're gonna go ahead and feed these guys very soon. Now, how many red tails you have in here? Basically, there's three of them in there. There's uh, two of them that are about maybe 26, 27 inches. Okay. Well, there's also a big boy back there. He's, he's closer to maybe like 32, maybe 33. Probably bigger now. He probably. Oh my gosh! Bit. See him back he's here so hanging big. out. Oh yeah, for sure. 100% he's that big. We have a couple in Zach's pond. Look at that monster. Just waiting for his time to come up and play. How long have you had these guys in here? They've been here for about a year. Oh, about a year or so. how long you been, I mean, I'm assuming you've been in the hobby for a long time, but yeah. before you decided to make your entire home an aquarium, how long? How long did it take to make this beautiful, beautiful I mean, oasis? You know, it took me probably about a good six months to kind of just set everything up the way I kind of got everything situated. This was actually a koi pond before, and I kind of shifted stuff around to make space for these guys because they were actually in a tank inside, and they got too big. I mean, the guys, they were in a 55. They couldn't even turn anymore, so I had to you know make sure they had a lot of space so I ended up putting them out here. Dude, no one would know, and I appreciate you opening up your home and sharing this with us. No one would know what's going on. There's a lot of people out here that have very, very awesome ponds, guys. I wish you guys can see, I'm trying to cover it, but there is a red tail right there in that monster that's hiding in the cover. Everyone's gonna come up when we come feed them. Well, so you got... <laughs> that's well, what you gotta feed them. <laughs> okay, we're gonna feed them some wieners. Interesting. How should I feed them? Should, I mean, I know the big boy can just scarf this down. Should we break it up? Yeah, probably just break off a piece, see if they grab it, and then, you know, after that, they'll get a taste for it, and then they'll come up. Yeah, I know how it is with the big boys. Can you go ahead and break my wiener? <laughs> oh, gotta keep it G-rated, sorry, guys. Let's see what happens. You got a whiff of that. This is the best catfish, bait, as you can see. It's dispersing the scent. Should wake everybody up. Little guy smells it. Hey, buddy. What's up? You want a little taste of that? You like the wiener? No wiener? How about this? Maybe? Oh! That's so cool! Hey, guy! No? Yes? No? There you go. Oh, he takes little bites! That's interesting! And then there's a big piece. Oop! Never mind. No, no little bites. He takes the whole thing. Now, let's see if the big guy's gonna eat. See the big boy? Wiener hit his face, little guy's just scarfing everything down the hatch, trying to get as big as this guy. Be free, all the way to the bottom. But you feed him shrimp and fish and everything like yeah, that, right? Shrimp and tilapia. Perfect, Dead big guy's about to scarf that wiener down. Oh, there it is, and he just said no thanks. This guy's really big. Yep. Now, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna drop this big old piece right here, right on top of the monster. Who's gonna eat it? The little man? No, guys, you can't see, no. I swear, he ate it. Look at that guy, now you can see him. Big old catfish, look at that. 
Scarf it down real quick for us. Perfect. Oh, look at the big one coming out the play. This is so sick, guys. This is amazing. We're going to walk inside and check out what else he has in this beautiful oasis. So now is when we're going to go ahead and start the second half, guys, of this awesome adventure feeding my That's cool new pets. Pet. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. Literally, it's you. So it's like cute. you eating Chipotle. Ew, yes. It's amazing. Look at this. <laughs> Go, my children. There's so many. So many different ones. Not one is the same. That's right. Man. That's the best part. So There's not not a single one is the same. Look at that. And that big old plant. Now, tell me about this plant. Because I didn't ask you about this in the last well, video. So, let's walk over here and look at this monster plant. That plant actually started out in one of these filters as a part of the bog filtration. Okay. But the root system became so huge, it split the tub. And um, I had to cut it into pieces to get it out. And I actually just threw a couple pieces in here and it exploded into this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. so this is like, this is great because now the fish have the cover. Correct. And then on top of the cover from the evil, evil neighborly pets and stuff like that that come and attack. Right. Like you get your filtration on top of that times too. Yep. And then it gives nice shade and everything like that. And the fish hang out under there. And there's, there's probably a bunch of uh, Midas hanging out under there probably like that big with the homes on the head wow. oh man dude i can't wait whenever that day comes that you're like yo joey come by it's time to go swimming i'm bringing my swimming truck we're out here swimming <laughs> you're gonna swim two women all right we're gonna take the gopro we're gonna be swimming it's gonna be awesome dude this is so cool once that this is perfect you best believe i'll be out here swan diving right in it's gonna be amazing now let's go inside bro look look at the tubs Tubs on tubs of yeah. koi food, and we're gonna. Oh my goodness gracious! It's an arachuana. <laughs> we have red tail, hybrid. Oh, no poking. Oh all right, gosh. all right. They know I'm pointing at them, and we have a nice, beautiful, beautiful tiger shovel nose purebred. Here's the hybrid. We have these oscillaris catfish. I believe these are what they are called. Just chilling there, and we have some vultures in the back, and we have. Senor Arajuana looking at me right deep in me eye. Why are you looking at me like that, boy? Sanjay is about to go ahead and feed them. Let's see what happens. Who will fall down and die? What? What's going to happen? Who's going to come up first? What's going to eat? Dun dun. Oh, see you later. <laughs> that was gone. <laughs> that was insane. Look at this one going all the way down. Is it a scoop it up? See ya. Oh my gosh. Done. Everyone's getting flared up now. Look at the vulture catfish. Tiger Shovel Nose is getting a taste of murder. Dude, this is gonna be so cool. He's just gonna get stuffed. Look at him. Not even a chance. This is a beautiful arowana. Red tail came out of nowhere. I didn't even know there's a red tail in here. What the heck? Oh, oh my god. Fighting around. What's happening? See you later. Dude, this is a, actually, hold on. It's that frenzy. Bro, it's a <laughs> frenzy. This is amazing. And you know what's crazy? Oh my goodness. Hold on. This is all well water, also, right? Yeah. Oh, well, well. oh, you get the cheat. I hate you guys. <laughs> you guys get the cheat. But look how clear this tank is. Oh my goodness gracious. And there's a lot of fish wow. here. And there's nothing. You can see. You can see through. No problem. You have little plants in here too. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Oh my gosh. Bro, that arowana is going to get so big. You're going to put them in the pond. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll probably put them out there in the pond. You know, something with the nets on it. So if he jumps, at least he'll, you know, he'll be safe. Yeah. We all know about that. Dude, this is so cool. There was a whole bunch of minnows here and there's nothing now. Oh man. Oh, see you later. King of the Tank, Savage. King of the Tank, <laughs> Savage. That's what his name shall be. Savage, look at that. See you later. Dude, what else you got in here? Catfish eat the uh, the pellets as well? Yeah, especially the vultures. They'll, oh, they'll go sinking. Animal. See ya, let's see what happens. Oh, <gasps> dum, boom, 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 boom. Dude, you can... Dude, they, you can actually make them grow so fast. They just stuff them up like that. Dude, oh my gosh, what a beautiful tank. And I actually like the black sand. Look at the red tail go. See you later. Oh my gosh. Nom, 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 nom. Doesn't stand a chance. Everything is just going crazy. Oh my goodness gracious, it's a frenzy. These are the coolest things ever. I like them, but... Dude, now I might actually have to get into the vulture life. I always, you know, everyone loves the, the big three, red tail, oh, yeah, yeah. the tiger shovel nose hybrids, and the tiger shovel nose. But these, literally, they're, scavengers. They're the underdogs, man, but they're they're awesome also, man. Look at that. Oh, the colors and the patterns yeah. on them. 
Dude, I agree. Crazy. And there's there was a whole bunch of pellets here, you guys, and there's <laughs> nothing left. Hey, bro, what's up? The arowana is just so cool, man. I miss my arowana. But man, this is a beautiful tank. Let's go ahead and see what else you got going on. What is over there? Oh my word. Look what's in here. Whole bunch of Pacus and the lone ranger goldfish who will survive. Anyone? No, don't go that way. Oh my it's God. not safe. Don't do it. Oh. <gasps> oh, what happened? Oh, the whisker touched. No, 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 no. Got away, guys. Whew. That was a close one. <laughs> Look at all of these pakus. So many chickens, all inside. How many pakus are in here, bro? One, two, three, four, six. five, six. Two nice red tails. No, Mr. Goldie survived. But wow, dude, this looks like an actual piranha farm. The paku swarm. I might have to do this, guys. Let me know in the comments below if I have. I should have a little Paku army like this because that's exactly what's going on here. Massive Paku army. They're a little shy. They're like, what's with this big guy? Oh, here we go. Look at that. Just like that. No gravel, no nothing. Just chilling. Look at this. Now, I'm going to leave them alone. I'm going to turn off this light because they're kind of spooking them. And we're going to go ahead and look at this. Oh, hello, hello. Peacock cichlid tank. 55 gallon cichlid tank here. That must be really hard to keep up because. I know a lot of people that have them and they say it's quite difficult to keep this 100% and running like that. Yeah. You guys know what you're yeah, doing. OPs here. Look at that. I got wow. A vinyl. This is a electric blue Ali. Dang, Some look at the colors there. on that. Albino peacock there. And a little mixture of everything in here. Dude, that is such a cool tank. And everything's, you love those hangovers, man. I see that every time I go it's like my my piranha goldfish look at that go 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 eating up a storm dude this is insane my friend you guys have quite the setups including that beautiful beautiful pool pond that's a legit pool pond legit. guys <laughs> don't forget to hit them up if you guys want some koi that are from that cool pool pond look at this tank what are, more cichlids those are the babies. Babies? Yeah, they breathe? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you actually have babies. Some of the babies from those bigger ones that you saw there. Oh, that's so cool. And then more, I'm assuming? Yeah, these are some of the other ones that I had to split them up a little bit. And got some electric blue Jack Dempsey's. Wow. Look at that. Hello, Hello buddy. Those are nice, nice and popping there. Popping for sure. They're gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, some yo-yo loach. Yo-yo loach is in there, yeah. Then you got some other guys. I think those some are frontosis. Oh, what's up, dude? What's going on? You do a little appearance for us? What's up? Hey, get out of the frame, bro. There you go. What's up? This is awesome. Oh, and there's some back there. All the way up there. Dude, they're super personable. What's this? That's another uh, electric blue jacket. Oh. He's just a little bit darker. So what are you gonna, you gonna go ahead and feed these guys for us real quick? Sure. Oh, man. Oh, you got more frontosis in there too. Dude, so tell me about this food you were, you were telling me earlier about so, it. So, I personally like this food. It's called Tetra Pro Tropical Color Crisp. It's actually a crisp, like kind of like a cornflake type thing. Yeah. And it, as you can see, it's like individual crisp. So it doesn't get into your filtration, doesn't cloud your water, and the fish absolutely love it, as you can see. Dude. This is awesome. You mind putting on the bright light real quick so we can see these beautiful colors? Oh my gosh. Look at this. They look so good. And these are just floating? Yeah, dude, I'm gonna have to go ahead and get these for piranhas. I usually just feed them regular flakes, but since there's so many, I don't have to deal with it going into the filters, you know? But with this, bro, they just scarf them down. And each fish grabs one and they just run with it, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> That's amazing, dude. You know, I got some albino ones here. Wow, look at the colors on these guys. Dude, this is so cool, man. Oh, man. I can't believe you have so many tanks. Yeah. I heard something behind me. You have some stuff back here. Yeah, I can't believe it either. Dude, you have so many, bro. You have nice little mollies. Little blue craw on the back. You got something in this pouch? 
Yeah, that's the lovebirds. Oh, okay. Lovebirds in there. I'm not gonna bother those, but dude, guys, we're gonna go ahead and look at these a little longer. I hope you enjoy this episode. There's some crazy, crazy things going on. You know what? Before we end it, can we look at the pond again? No problem. Let's look at that stuff, dude. That's crazy, bro. Oh my god. Oh man, I had I had to get back. This is all homemade, bro. All homemade, That's man. amazing, man. I can't believe it. We're gonna go ahead and scoop up some plants. He's gonna help me out. I'm gonna get some well water. We're gonna be doing some stuff. Oh man, guys, like I said, I'm gonna put the link to his Instagram as well as put it right down here. What's up, little boy? You want some food? You want some food? Look at him go. Hey, what's going on? You want some food too? Look at the prize. Look at them all come up to me. Hey, what's going on? Oh, see you later. Eating everything. This is absolutely, whoa, the light. This is absolutely amazing. Would you like to do the honors? I would. All right. She's holding everything. That's all my water. Oh, see you later. Thing, bro. Sanjay, you're the man. I appreciate it. Like I said, hit them up if you want those koi. We're going to be messing around and doing some stuff with him in the near future. I promise that maybe even swimming in this thing. Who knows? Anything's possible out here. You never know, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you in the next play adventure.